Good evening and welcome to tonight's Preventure Adventure, which finds me in Colchester, Connecticut at a barbecue place called Oz and Bones. Started off as far as I know because I went to it when it was a food truck and they did so well that they became a sit-down restaurant. So let me show you what I got. Their coleslaw, their hand-cut fries, and a two meat combo plate with rib, uh, I'm sorry, with pork and chicken, mac and cheese. I didn't realize there was coleslaw in there too, so I guess I got double coleslaw. All right, so let me set up and we'll give it a try. All right, let's uh, start with these hand cut french fries. They have hand cut chips and hand cut fries. I asked her which way I should go, she said fries, so. They're nice. I don't know if you noticed, they're, they're like the shoestring type. Good fries. Nice stuff right there. Try to set this up a little differently. Start off with a bite of the coleslaw. Nice first impression. Mac and cheese. I think I thought I was getting, and they had it, but that was only a one meat night. Didn't make the, the correlation a combo bowl which I thought all this would be mixed in together, but this is a combo platter. That mac and cheese has a really cool flavor to it. I like it. They asked me if I wanted sauces. I thought it might be sauced a bit. It's not. Nice flavor in that pork. Chicken. We'll keep going at that. See what we think in the end. Alright, let me finish my meal. My man Jeffrey will be checking to see how much I spill on me. Good job, Jeffrey. Keep up the good work. And, uh... We'll be back to finish up. Let's wrap it up here at Oz and Bones Barbecue in Colchester, Connecticut. Um, kind of got to know where the place is to find it. It's behind something else. I had GPS that got me here. Kind of seems like a cool town, Colchester. But anyhow, we're not here to talk about the town. We're here to talk about the food. So, really like the French fries. Enjoyed the French fries a lot. Far more food than I can ever eat here. Uh, I got <laughs> quite a bit I'm taking home. The um, coleslaw, I enjoyed it. Nice, nice, nicely done. Not too creamy, not no vinegary, just nice, nice flavor, nicely done. The mac and cheese actually had some uh, uh, barbecue meat pieces in it, which really. It just was really very tasty. Very enjoyable. I like the mac and cheese a lot. The two meats, I'm not going to tell you I can tell the difference when they're both cooked like that and um, sauced up and, and all. So uh, one, which I thought originally was the pork, but I asked for pulled chicken and the other one was not really pulled, so I don't know. They were both good, but one was really good. Um, the darker one, whichever one that happened to be. I, if you've been watching this channel at all, you know that barbecue is not really where I go very often. I'm not going to try to tell you I know a lot about barbecue because I, I eat it. Uh, I enjoy it, but I don't search it out. But uh, this was really quite tasty. Nicely done. 
I, like I said, I had eaten at their truck once before a few years back, and I really enjoyed it. So, here I am at their uh, brick and mortar. I really enjoyed it. All good. The, the girl that waited on me inside, she was she was really nice. And then the other girl who didn't even wait on me, I was talking to her. She was really nice. So, just all really nice people inside here. Really good food on the outside. So, 0 to 10. And once again, I want to make sure you understand that hopefully most of the time my scores are high because I'm searching out places I think are going to be really good. Every once in a while I hit one that turns out not to be. But I don't think these scores are inflated. I just think it's because I do some research and I, and I don't want to settle for mediocre. I want good flavor um, so this one is going to have a nice score also I'm, I'm going to say 8.4 um, really good flavor everything they did was really nice came out nice was put together nicely uh, just an enjoyable meal Evidently had some pretty serious hail just before I got here, so I'm glad I missed that. So anyhow, Oz and Bones, Colchester, Connecticut. Oh, Jeffrey. I thought I made it out of there. I had one. Oh, Jeffrey. Hey, Oz and Bones, Colchester, Connecticut, 8.4.